welcome back to my youtube channel massa tutorials please do go well to subscribe like on my videos to get more of the ghs mathematics videos so please do go well to subscribe to my channel all right this is my last video on the topic properties of polygons for GHS3 students. Those who are preparing BEC for this year. Alright, so we are coming to an end of this topic. Properties of polygons and we are trying ourselves with questions. So now, we have a question on the board. Three angles of an irregular octagon are 100 degrees, 120 degrees, and 140 degrees. The remaining angles are congruent. Find the size of each of the remaining angles. This question is very, very interesting. As you can see, three angles of an irregular octagon are 100 degrees, 120 degrees and 140 degrees. The remaining angles are congruent. Find the size of each of the remaining angles. We can pause the video then you we'll try this question. So write it down. All right. Okay. Welcome back. Please do all to subscribe to my channel. All right, master tutorials. Let's proceed with the solution. Now, three angles of an irregular octagon. I believe you know irregular. Irregular octagon means that what? It has what? Different sides and different interior angles. All right, so let's see. So we have been given three angles of an irregular octagon here. Three angles has been given here. Now, then they said the many angles are congruent. So we have to understand this word, congruent. If you don't understand this word, you'll be stuck. So congruent means what? Equal. Congruent means what? Equal. So if you have the word congruent, congruent, it means what? Equal. So let's fix equal inside this sentence and let's see so the remaining angles are out equal the remaining angles are out equal now octagon let's ask ourselves octagon octagon is a polygon it's a plain polygon with what a plain figure or it's a polygon with what eight sides or eight what interior angles or eight what exterior angles so now we can see that here you have been given what three angles three what angles so now if you have eight angles eight angles then you have been given three angles so we can subtract right so how many angles left five angles left please are you following we have eight angles, eight angles, because octagon has what? Eight angles with eight sides and also with what? Eight exterior angles. Now, in this question, you have been given what? Three angles, 100 degrees, 120 degrees, and 140 degrees. There are three angles. So now, you have to find for the difference. The difference between the angles remaining. So, 3 from 8 is what? 5. So, 5 angles what? Remaining. And here lies the case. They said what? The remaining angles are what? Congruent. And we know the what? The meaning of congruent. Which means what? Equal. So, then it means that these 5 angles, all of these 5 angles here, they are what? Equal. So, if one angle is 50, then the rest of the five angles are at 50, 50, 50, 
50 each. Please, are we here? Are we safe? Are you following? Are you okay? All right, so let's proceed. So now, this three angles of an irregular octagon are one 100 degrees, 120 degrees, and 140 degrees. Then it means that what? The angles here, the question is silent. Means we don't know whether the angles is what? It's an exterior angle. They didn't specify here. Whether the angle is what? It's an interior angle. But if the question is silent, then that means the angles are what? Interior. Do you understand that? So the angles are what? Interior. So it means that, first of all, we do have to what? Find for what? The sum of interior angles of what? Of an irregular what? Octagon. Are you following? Please, if you don't know how to find for the sum of a polygon, the sum of interior angles of a polygon, please do well to visit my last videos. Then watch and understand. Then you come back to it so that you understand what is going on here. Now, we have to find for what the sum of what interior angles of this irregular octagon. So we know that to find for the sum of an irregular octagon, the formula is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Right? So now, where n is what? 8. Because where n is the number of sides of that what? Polygon. So the polygon here is what? Octagon. That's an irregular octagon. So, in place of n, I substitute 8 inside. So, I have 8 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So, 8 minus 2 gives me 6 times 180 degrees. So, now, I can forget about the circle. Then, I'll focus on what? 18. Then, I multiply it to what? 6. So, I have... 6, 8, that's what? 40, what? 8. 6, 9, what? 54. 6, 7, 42. So 6, 8, 48. So I write what? 8. Carry what? 4. Right? 6 times 1 is what? 6. Then add it to the 4 will give me what? 10. So I have 1, 0, 8. Then this 0, add it to it. So I have what? 1,000. And eighty degrees, one thousand and eighty degrees for the total angles inside this regular polygon is what one thousand and eighty degrees. Please, are we here? Are we following? Do you understand what is going on here? All right. So let's proceed. So now, it means that I can now what, add all the angles inside the irregular octagon. Then I will equal it to what? The sum of interior angles. That's what? 1080 degrees. So I have 100 degrees plus 120 degrees plus 140 degrees. Then he said, what? The remaining angles. I believe we know that the remaining angles are how many? They are five. So they are what? Congruent. And congruent means what? Equal. So it means that I can use, we can denote any variable to represent what? The angle. The equal angles. Right? So I can say that let's use X or let's use Y to represent that. So it means that there are five angles remaining, and that five angles they are equal. So it means it will be what? plus y degrees plus y degrees plus y degrees plus y degrees then plus y degrees. Please, you understand that? Then we equal we equate it to what? One thousand and eighty what? Degrees. So now. 
I have this. It has been grouped already. Right. Okay. So let's add these figures here. 100 degrees plus 120 degrees. We have what? 220 degrees. Then add it to 140 degrees. We have what? 360 degrees. So 360 degrees. Then y plus y plus y plus y plus y is what? 5y or what? Degrees. Then we equate it to what? 1080. 1080 degrees. This are we here? Are we okay? So let's continue. Now, we'll group like terms. 5y or degrees equals 360 degrees crosses the equal sign. Then here, 360 degrees is at what? The left hand side of the equal sign. Which is what? Positive. So when it crosses the equal sign, it becomes what? Negative. So 1080 degrees minus 360 degrees. So I have 5y degrees equals 1080 degrees. 1000, uh, 1080 minus 360. You can do our subtraction now. So 0 from 0 is 0. 6 from 8 is 2. Then now, let me claim the comma. You can see that, okay, 3 from three from 10. 3 from 10. Do you understand that? 3 from 10. So let's bring 0 here so that it will be 0, 3 from what? 10, right? So that we will get what? Our 0, what? 7 degrees. So our answer is what? 720 degrees. I believe we understand this simple subtraction here. Alright, so now we have 5y degrees equals 720 degrees. So 5y degrees, we can divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is what? 5. So here on 5 equals 720 degrees on 5. So 5 cancels what? 5. So y degrees equals now 5 720 degrees. Let's see. Forget about the 0, then let's tackle the 72. Long division applies here. 5 into 7, how many times? 1 time, right? 1 times 5 is what? 5. Then minus. 7 minus 5 will be moved. 2. Then I drop my 2. Making 22, right? So 5 goes into 22 how many times? Four times, right? Four times five, I get what? Twenty. Then I drop my two. That means twenty from twenty-two is what? Two, right? Okay. Then now, let's bring the zero. Because my students or some students have been saying that the numbers are very huge. They are huge, so we should take it one after the other. That's why I just place the zero aside. So let's go. So now. I have zero here, so I brought it back. So I'll drop this zero, making what? 20, right? So five goes into 20, how many times? Four times. Four times five is 20. So when you do the necessary subtraction, you get what? Zero. So 20 minus 20 is zero. So that means the value of y or the value of angle y is 144 degrees. So 144 degrees. 144 degrees. So that's the value of angle Y. Now, the question says, find the size of each of the remaining angles. So the size of each of the remaining angles are what? 144 degrees. Mind you, they say the remaining angles are what? Congruent. So that means if they are congruent, then that means each of them are what? 100 and what? 44 what degrees if the sides are congruent or they are equal then it means that what, each of the angles are 144 degrees so that's the solution for this question so please kindly go to well then understand the steps in solving this question
very, very simple, very, very simple. Welcome back. All right, so let's solve another question. So let's tackle this question. The interior angles of a pentagon are 100 degrees, x degrees, 3x plus 30 all degrees, then 2x minus 10 all degrees, and 80 degrees. Find x. Very, very simple. This one, the angles are what's internal. The angles are inside what's the polygon. So what's the name of that polygon? Pentagon. So let's see how we can solve this question. So now, first of all, you have to find for what, the sum of what interior angles of a what of a pentagon. And the formula is n minus two times one hundred and eighty degrees, where n equals what five. Why? Because a pentagon has what five sides. So in place of n, I substitute five. So five minus two times 180 degrees so it becomes what three times 180 degrees which gives us what 540 degrees very good i believe we've calculated something like that so we know what is going on here all right so let's proceed so now we we'll add all this angle then we equate it to what 540 degrees i believe we are following small 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 all right so let's go so i have 100 degrees plus x degrees plus 3x plus 30 all degrees then plus 2x minus 10 all degrees then plus 80 degrees equal to 540 degrees so now let's remove the brackets and let's solve so 100 degrees plus x degrees plus 3x plus 30 then plus 2x minus 10 then plus 80 degrees equals 540 degrees so now we can group like this so grouping of like terms we have 100 degrees plus um 30 degrees then plus that's minus 10 right so minus 10 then that's what one two three then plus 80 plus 80 degrees then we come to the variables plus 3x 3x plus 2x then plus x plus x 
equals 140. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's cool here. Please do you understand that. All right, so let's move on. So we have 100 degrees plus 30 degrees, which is what? 130 degrees. Then positive times negative is what? Negative. Because we've all learned what? Integers. The symbol for an integer is what? Z. That's the symbol for an integer. And you know that integers are what? Positive and negative natural numbers, including what? Zero. So we can write something like this for an integer. So positive and negative natural numbers, including what? Zero. Because they are junior. They all combine. So including zero is what? Among of what? The integers, right? So natural numbers. That's a symbol for a natural number. That's a symbol for a natural number. All right, let's continue. So now, negative ten. Then plus what? Eighty degrees. Then three x plus two x plus x is what? Six x. So plus six x goes what? Five forty degrees. 130 minus 10 gives us 120 degrees, then plus 80 degrees, then plus 6s equals 540 degrees. 120 degrees plus 80 degrees gives us what? 200 what? degrees plus 6s equals 540 degrees. Please, are we here? Are we through? Okay, so we group like terms. We we'll maintain 6x, then we we'll send 200 degrees to the right hand side. So here is positive 200, so when it crosses, it becomes what? negative. So 6x equals 540 degrees minus 200 degrees. So we have 6x equals 540 degrees minus 200 degrees. Let's do our necessary subtraction here. So we have 0, we have 4, then we have. Three, two, we have three forty degrees here. All right. Now, please take note. We can get the value of an angle to what? Decimals. We can get the value of an angle to what? Decimals. It's very, very true and it is very, very correct. But you can't listen. But you can't get the value of an angle to be what? Negative. You can't get the value of an angle to be what? Negative. So when you do higher mathematics, you can get the value of an angle to be negative, then take the absolute of that. But that one is applied in what? Higher mathematics. Alright, but here, you don't get a question that the answer will give you what? a negative answer. But you get a question. You surely and surely get a question for the answer to give you what? a decimal. So please, let's take note of this. Let's take note of this. Now, we have 6x equals 340 degrees. So we divide both sides by the coefficient of x. This is what 6. So 6x on 6 equals 340 degrees on 6. So we have x equals, we'll do a long division here, 340 degrees inside. So can 6 go into 3? No. So we we'll add a 4 to it, making it 34. So 6 goes into 34 how many times? 5 times. Because 6, 6 gives us what? 36. So 5 times. 5 times 6 gives us to subtract 30 from 34 is as well 0, 4, right or 4 to be precise here so now can 6 go into 4 no so we drop this 0 making what 
4. So 6 goes into 40 how many times? Yes, I'm listening. 6, 8, 6, 8, 6, 8. We have 6, 7, 42. 6, 6, what? 10, 6. Do you understand that? So 6 goes into what? 40 how many times? 6 times, right? Because 6, 6, 36, 6, 7, 42. 6, 8, what? 48. So please take note. So 6 goes into 46 times. 6 times 6 is 36. So 36 from 40, we have what? Um, we have 4. Now, 6 cannot go into 4, so you will bring what? 0, making 4. So 6 goes into 40 how many times? 6 times. So we will bring the 0, then we will bring a what? A point here, sorry. We will bring a point. So it means that we will get what? 56 point what? 6. 66666 six, 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 six. so 56 points 6 what degrees so you get a repeating decimal or recurring decimal all right so that's the question that's the solution for this question so the value of x or to find for the value of angle x is what 56.6 degrees so that's how this question is solved that's how this question is solved all right so you can look at it again then So let's solve our last example. Let's solve our last example. Let's solve our last example. So if you have any question, please feel free to drop it at the comment section so that I'll verify it and see your question. And if there is any answer to your question, I give it to you. All right. So this is our last question. Uh, the exterior angles of a quadrilateral. The exterior angles of a quadrilateral are y degrees, y plus 5, y plus 10, and y plus 25, all degrees. So find y. This is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Solution. How best can we solve this question? Now, we know that the exterior angles of a, what? Of a quadrilateral is what? 360 degrees. Why? Because a quadrilateral is also what? A polygon. I believe you know quadrilaterals. One example of a quadrilateral is what? We have a square because a quadrilateral is a four-sided plane figure or it's a four-sided polygon. So please take notes. So we have a square, we have a rectangle, we have a rhombus, we have a kite, we have a trapezium. They are all what? Quadrilaterals. Do you understand that? All right. So 
you know that the sum of an exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees so i'll just add these angles then i'll equate it to a 360 degrees so it means y degrees plus y plus 5 plus y plus 10 and plus y plus 25 equals 360 degrees so let's group like this y plus y so y degrees plus y degrees plus y degrees plus y degrees then plus 5 plus 10 plus 25 equals 360 degrees so 1 2 3 4 we have 4 of the y so 4 y degrees plus 5 plus 10 gives us or 5 plus 25 gives us 30 30 plus 10 gives us 40 so 40 degrees equals 360 degrees so group like terms 4y degrees equals 40 crosses the equal sign to go negative because here is your positive so i have 360 degrees minus 40 degrees so 4y degrees equals 320 degrees this one is very very simple subtraction right when you subtract 4 from 6 you get to 3 0 from 3 is what 3 0 from 0 is 7 so 320 degrees we divide both side by the coefficient of y which is what 4 so here we come so we have 4 cancels what 4 4 into itself 1 then into 32 how many times 4, 1, 4, 4, 2, 8. Recite 4, 3, 2, 4, 4, 16. 4, 5, 20. Uh -huh. So, 4 goes into 32. How many times? 4, 8, 32. Yeah. So, 4, 8, 32. Or 8, 4, 32. Multiplication is what? Commutative. So, we have y degrees being equal to what? Because I have my 0, it's not cancelled. So, I have 80 degrees. So, the value of y is what 80 degrees so very very simple question very very simple question all right so please this is a solution for the question So let me give you a question so that you can try yourself on it. Try yourself and please deliver the questions on the comment section so that I can give you answers to it. Please do all to subscribe to my channel. You will love it very, very well. For more GHS mathematics videos, our next topic for our next video will be the right angled triangle that's pythagoras theorem the right angled triangle pythagoras theorem the right angled triangle that's the pythagoras theorem so please when we meet on our next video that will be out very 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 soon within the shortest possible time all right so let's proceed let me give you the questions here so please kindly Follow them, you copy the questions.
can you please try your hands on these three questions? These three questions. They are very, very simple. The exterior angles of a polygon are 28 degrees, 40 degrees, 142 degrees, 120 degrees, and X. Find X. Question 2. The interior angles of a hexagon are 107 degrees, 2X degrees, 150 degrees, 95 degrees, 2X minus 10 degrees, and 1 to 3 degrees. Find X. Question 3. The interior angles of a pentagon are 125 degrees, 4X degrees, X degrees, 92 degrees. And 83 degrees. Fine cuts. So, very, very simple as you can see. They are very, very simple. Alright, so we've come to an end of this precious and delicious and superb and powerful topic yeah we've come to an end of our beloved topic properties of polygon so please do all to subscribe to my channel master tutorials to get more of my GHS mathematics videos for your brother your sister your niece your nephew to watch so we we'll meet on our next video for the right angled triangle Pythagoras theorem. All right, so solve more questions so that you can understand this topic very, very well. Then watch the videos so that you understand everything under the properties of polygons. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.